Today, Honolulu's police chief said more needs to be done to track the mentally ill. Authorities say the suspect had a history of mental health issues and multiple TROs against him. Chief Susan Ballard said what happened on Sunday revealed a huge gap in the system. A call that the officers go to all the time. But yet, you know, if I think that if we knew some of the things that we know now and there's some type of system that could tie together all the TROs, you know, all past, um, you know, uh, problems that this person might have had so that, you know, we can have a database. And I, and I know people don't like that, but we have to be able to track people who are mentally ill and not just to track them, but also to get them the services they need. These officers died for us and their lives shouldn't be meaning, meaningless. Let's get permanent residential treatment facilities for the mentally ill so that they don't have a choice. If you're mentally ill, you are gonna to go to a facility, you're gonna get the help that you need because obviously you cannot make those decisions on your own. And I know it sounds tough, but I think it's time for tough love now. Now, Hawaii has what's known as a red flag law. It allows law enforcement, family, even close friends to obtain a court order to prevent a person from getting guns if that person poses a danger to themselves or others. Right now, we do not know how Jerry Hainel obtained the weapon used in Sunday's shooting.